Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd do a really simple, quick and easy everyday hijab tutorial. Um, it's the hijab style that I wear on a day to day basis and it's really simple, really quick and easy and I'm going to show you how to do it now. So okay, first things first, you're going to need your hijab, well obviously do your underscore first and all of that jazz, your bun and whatnot. And what I use to keep my scarf in place is a pair of tights. Yes, I know. Tights, Dory, the clean. I would use this on my head, they're not worn or anything. I mean, that's crazy. But yeah, um, just a pair of normal black tights that you can put on your head basically. And what I like, why I like tights is because it has a bit of a rough surface or the scarf you want to slip off of this whereas if you just put your scarf directly onto your hair it'll just slip off and your hair will be coming out all the time and it's just really annoying okay so what you do is you take your pair of tights like this and you arrange it on your head like so tying it once at the back like that and then you'll get the funny crotch bit here so you put that over your head like so and then you grab the other leg of the pair of tights and you bring it around the back and you cover any areas where the underscarf might be showing and then that you'll have a neat bun, just a range of ones so it's not too high or too big or voluminous and then you'll take your scarf and this is a cotton maxi scarf so as you can see it's quite wide so what I like to do is fold it lengthways and then grab both ends like this and then flip it over and then put it on my head like that and then what you'll see is you'll have one really short side and one really long side so you just grab it like that and what you do is you take the top layer and you put it back here and you work with the front bit now what I like to do is I just like arrange it around my face so I don't show too much forehead. I mean, if you like a lot of forehead cleavage, if that's your thing, it's just your thing. Go for it. I have quite a big forehead, so I don't want to show too much of it. No snag hijab pin, and I take it from underneath and put it under my chin right there. I like to do it under so you don't see it poking out from under your chin. Okay, now you've got the top layer from the short side and what I like to do is I like to get rid of this bit so I just flip it over my head like that and arrange it so this side isn't too long, like both sides are equal so you get the volume on both sides of your head and not just one. Okay, then you grab the long section of the hijab and as you can see it's still folded so that's the top bit and this bit will be under your chin here so you grab that bit you flip it over you bring it around and while you're doing that you're gathering the scarf up you're gathering like this so it's not too long in the back and then you just flip it over like that bring it around and bring the whole around like that and just fix it on the sides how you like it and secure it with a hijab pin that matches the colour of your scarf and then what I like to do is just if you want this bit to be shorter so you can wear like really nice statement necklaces with it I just like to pull this bit so you can get it shorter just play around with it a bit see what suits the outfit that you're wearing obviously if you've got a, no, a lower neckline you can just pull this bit back down and you know you've got more chest coverage that way but if you're wearing a shirt like I am and 
if you want to show a really nice necklace off or something you can just literally pull this bit down here what I like to do as well because it's quite windy at the moment just grab another how you like sometimes um, if I'm wearing a shirt without a collar I just like to put a safety pin right here underneath so it's secure here and it won't be like flapping up we put another one as well so that's a really quick and easy tutorial of how I do my scarf on a day to day basis and I hope you like it guys stay tuned for my other videos and I'll see you next time